In this episode, we're going to be setting up our Internet of Things server. We're going to be using the Raspberry Pi, so we need to set that up first. We'll then be installing an MQTT broker called Mosquito. Then we'll be installing Node-RED and lastly, we'll be installing SQLite. But first things first, let's set up our Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B and it's a two gigabyte version. We need a power source. Make sure that you have a decent power source. If it's underpowered, then you're gonna have some problems that will just be very frustrating for you. We need a memory card. Get a decent one, as large as you can go. These are quite cheap these days. I think this was about six pound. And then I bought the official Raspberry Pi case because I think it looks good. And again, not too expensive. There are some other things you can use as well if it's gonna make life a bit easier for you. I have a power over ethernet router, so I will be using one of these on top of my Raspberry Pi. So instead of the power coming from the power brick, I will be having it coming from the network. Let's get the software we need to install on the server. So if you go to raspberrypi.org and then go to downloads, you'll see they've made it very easy. It used to be a little bit different back uh, a couple years back, but now you can just download this Raspberry Pi imager. While that's downloading, we will stick our SD card into the reader and we'll be able to install our image. Firstly, choose the SD card we just inserted. Make sure you choose the correct one. And then the operating system. You have a few options here. We're gonna go with Raspbian, but we're not gonna go with Raspbian with the full desktop. We don't need that. We're going to go with the version without a desktop. And this is because we're running an IoT server. I don't need a desktop environment. I don't need a graphic user interface. I just want all the processing power to be focused on the tasks that we're gonna be using this for. So we're gonna choose Raspbian Lite. And this will take a little bit of time because it needs to download it. And then it needs to put it onto the SD card. We're going to be connecting to our Raspberry Pi via SSH. To do that, we need to go into the drive that's been created called boot and create a file called SSH. Now, by default, your extensions of your files will be hidden. So if you click on view and then file name extensions, it will show that this has an extension of .txt. So just make sure that it doesn't have an extension and that will make sure that our Raspberry Pi can be connected to via SSH. If you're gonna be connecting your Raspberry Pi via Wi-Fi to your network, then you're gonna to need to create a second file called WPA underscore supplicant dot CONF. I'll leave a link down below in the description that will show you how to do this. But for me, I'm gonna be connecting this physically via a LAN cable to my network. Time to put our SD card into our Raspberry Pi and power it up and connect it to the network. We're going to be connecting to our Raspberry Pi via SSH. To do that, I'm gonna be using Putty, which is free from putty.org. And the tricky bit here is figuring out what your IP address is for your Raspberry Pi. You can normally find this by logging into your router and seeing what your router has allocated as an IP address. But once you have it, type it in the top here. Mine is 192.168.0.205. Yours is very likely to be different, so make sure that you find out the correct one. Port number, keep that as 22 and make sure that SSH is ticked over here. And because we'll be using this quite a bit, let's save these settings and click save. And that means we can just double click on that next time and it will take us straight in. Now, the first time we connect, you're gonna get a prompt about the security alert, about a server host key. Make sure that you click yes and you shouldn't get prompted for that again. The default login for your Raspberry Pi is username PI and the password is raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. And don't be worried if you don't see it actually coming on the screen, that's just the way that Linux works. Press enter and you have now logged in for the first time. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is change your password. So to do that, type in P-A-S-S-W-D, put in your current password, which at the moment is raspberry, and then put in your new password.
and there you go. Now let's make sure that our Raspberry Pi is up to date. To do that, we type sudo apt update. And after that, type sudo apt upgrade. We're going to need to install two bits of software to help us engage with our Raspberry Pi from our various IoT devices like our ESP32s. The first one is an MQTT broker. The one I like to use is Mosquito. And to install that, we need to type this command. Once that's installed, you're going to need to make sure that it starts every time your Raspberry Pi boots. And to do that, you run this command. All these commands will be in the description below. And now all we need to do is test that it actually is working. And that should mean that your Mosquito is installed and working as it should. Don't worry about the error message at the bottom. Error address already in use. That just means that the broker is up and running. The next thing we're going to need to install is Node-RED. Node-RED is what we're going to be using to be able to visualize our information that's coming in via MQTT. It also allows us to do some pretty cool stuff around the coding, put things in databases and stuff like that. So let's install Node-RED. This is the command we're going to use. And it'll take a little while. Just make sure you say yes to everything and it'll run through the installation. You want to make sure that Node-RED starts every time you boot your Raspberry Pi, and to do that, you just need to run this command. The last thing we're going to install is SQL Lite. This is a database that is very lightweight. It doesn't take up a lot of resources, and it's pretty portable, so I like to use it, and it's something we're going to be using in our projects. So to install that, we just need to run this command, and it should install pretty quick. Our Raspberry Pi server has been installed and configured and ready to go to start doing some really cool things with our IoT projects. We have installed the Raspberry Pi server. We have installed an MQTT broker called Mosquito. We have installed Node-RED to do the visualizations and create dashboards and do some pretty cool coding stuff on the back end. We have also installed SQL Lite. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode where we'll start interacting with these various components. Until then, stay safe and stay spicy.